Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm a Hello everybody and welcome to this let's play. First off, it's a tutorial on how to start in space. We just literally spawned in the space pod. So first episode, don't get me wrong, it's a tutorial, it's fully tutorial on how to get set up in your space pod in this contraption here. Now we'll be slightly modifying it for the best outcome of starting in space. Now the first thing that you want to do, now disclaimer, I have got a few mods installed which are these on this right hand side. So we've got Eat, Drink, Sleep, Plant and Cook, Modular Encounters, a Speed One, Fluffle Items, Missing Slopes, Build and Throw, um, Property Airlock, one script there we'll, we'll show you later on, uh, this live tech power which it is, a cool one, it's live tech so you get different thrusters and fuel. But the purpose of this episode one is to get you started. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to come on out of your space pod, go to your nearest asteroid, mine a load of stone. And the best way to do it is to hold your click button whilst holding F. As you all know, I'm going to do this and then I'll bring you back on step number two. So once you've got all your, your stone, which is here, you want to go into production and you just want to grab a load of ingots and that will process while we look for step number is it three or no, two is putting your stone in there. And step number three is finding ice, but I'm going to get some more stones quickly. Okay, so whilst all your ingots are processing, what you want to do now is fly around your asteroid and try and find ice. Now I've just seen silicon, you don't need silicon, but we will mark it down, because hey why not, but yeah, because you only start with a thousand ice, especially some people might put the, the um, what do you call it, the hydro engine on, you just want to delete that, you don't need that, that just wastes ice, and we will be moving that shortly, so, this one, we're going to have to move to the next asteroid, and the best way to do it is slightly aim, you will have a cursor, I don't like cursor, but basically if you aim for the left side or the right side of the asteroid and then speed it up, oh wait, one second, right, just before we go over to the asteroid, go and get your unknown signals because they are totally worth it in the start of the game. Especially if you've got stuff like I have on here, which is uh, the the survival needs, eat, drink, and sleep, whatnot. So we'll head on to this. I'll show you what we sort of. This is our first run of the game. So oh, I'm gonna be able to get up through that. All right, we're gonna go in that first. No, not that. And then that. So we've got a bit of food there, which is great. But we also need to build stuff like a bed but you know some of this is going to be a bit a few more steps than you guys might need but the general purpose of this is to get you started and get a drill on your respawn pad and whatnot so right one second okay like i was saying aim for the left side or the right side and as you're speeding up you can take your dampeners off Because that preserves energy if you put your, your dampeners on and you go forward you've got 30 minutes three minutes worth of power so use the uh, dampeners off you save energy <clears throat> I haven't put the the speed mod on just yet we'll do it in a second so I'm gonna find some ice and I'll bring you back uh, lucky me third asteroid that I've checked we've got a little bit of ice but this is going to be more than enough so I'm going to bring my spaceship closer all right now you've got some ice you've got that's going to last you quite a while so right 
Little tip, don't keep opening and shutting your doors. I know I've got a mod that's an airlock system, but what I do is I leave these open so you don't keep depressurizing, oxygizing. I mean, you've got this oxygen tank, which is helpful, but what I do first, see this, um, this hydrogen engine, get rid of it. One, you can use the components off it, and you don't waste your ice, because it's rare at the start of the game. And you can use these to build other stuff. Okay, get rid of that. Now, none of this is connected to this. So what you want to do... Oh, God. I want to... Wait, can I even build H2 first? Yes, we can, so we don't need to worry about that. I am going to move this. Put that in there. Best thing for you guys to do... Is to put this H and I need that there like so just put it so it bridges the gap that way everything's connected and of course you unlock stuff right so a lot of stuff that you don't need on this I'm gonna get rid of this this door here as well This block here, because I need space for a bed and a bathroom so I can get organic stuff. I'm going to come out here, I'm going to get rid of him. We don't need that, we don't need this, because we need to start building a solar array as well for more power. Get rid of that, this, here. I'm going to put the refinery here, we don't need that. Basically, it's still all. Are we? Where's our leak? Where's our leak? We've got the building co here. Be careful. I'm using this mod for food and stuff. Okay, so I'll have to put the bathroom there in a minute. Don't worry about it. And. If I eat, then your helmet opens up and I start to die of oxygen. Get rid of that, no. On him. I'll piss off. Um, right. Let me get some progression up and going and I'll bring you back. And I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it with you, we'll do it with you. Right. I see the gap. You want to build. Just basically assemble it here. Yeah. Components and computers. <coughs> okay. Yeah, we need stone anyway, so we should have enough, right? All components, boom. Now, this is built, we'll unlock something. Brilliant. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put basic refinery. Like so. We need the components. I mean, you guys can put stuff where you want. It's up to you where, you where you put them. But what I am aiming to do here is to put the refinery here, some extensions here, an advanced drill here so we don't have to drill and all this stuff. And this is going to be your starting ship. Right, what else do we need now? What you need to focus on next is some sort of power. So solar panels we need steel plates we'll grab some of them out of there I don't think we've got any have we production a hundred of them so I'm going to drill some of these down we don't need these stairs 
it's not been airtight at the back. This also gives you more components. If you're scared to get rid of these, it's just armor blocks. Uh, yeah, we could put the solar arrays at the back actually, so. Better idea. Like so. And that way we're not going to keep bumping into them. Like so. So, now what do I do? Just grab them into your production. You've got space for another battery over there. I'm going to put them into there. Now, whilst them are in the queue for building, I'm going to grab some more stone so we can make it into ingots and whatnot. I'll grab some of this and bring it back. That opens up. Nice. Mm. Right, like I say, I've got the, the food mod on, so I think I can do this now. See, I need kitchens and whatnot. Stick food. I don't think I've got it just yet because I need interior. So, if you build stuff, you know, just like that. Oh, golly. Let's build some of them. Like so. And once you've built it, even though you don't want it there, you can just grind it back down and you've got the progression. So I need a bed. Get rid of them because pointless them being there gives us all the components. And I'm going to put the bed there. I've got a little window too. I think it should be able to be completed. We don't need the bulletproof. Yes, we do. And I'm also going to put the bathroom. And I can take a sh um, build a toilet and get the organic that I need to build food. So yeah, there we go. Right, your next thing to do is to get this built and then get yourself a drill. I'll bring you back when I'm setting it all up. Right, now them two are built. We should have some air. Now we can actually eat and drink. Need that. And I need that. So we need to make a bar. This bit you guys just don't need. See this is the stuff that we're using. Deuterium. And we get the, the tanks and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Consumables. We need some of that. And I need to eat it. Here we go. We're getting some food. Uh, we're getting some sleep as well. So there you go, buzzing. Ignore this bit. Whilst you sleep, you're getting power. Beautiful. Right, we need some more water. Can't get to the container, so we need to make a hundred, no, ten of them. All right, all right, we're on our way. So once you've eaten and drink, make sure you put your helmet back up and running. Right, let's get him up and running. Uh, we need some motors. Let's get a hundred of them because we need it. And once you've got your your refinery up and running, everything gets processed quicker. And do we have cobalt? We need to find cobalt next so we can make containers and whatnot. So. The drill. I mean, could put the drill there because that'd be full airtight. Yeah, it might be a better idea. We don't need to go deep just to get stone. <coughs> right. One second. Okay, so we we can build the drill. Um, put him there. Mm -hmm. That's 
let's put that into operation. Let's try this here. This might work. This might this might be a brilliant idea. If we just put it there for now. That becomes airtight. And we can get stone and process it quicker. We will move it later on. So that'll go through the survival. And literally the tutorial's done. You're up and running right now, folks. Um yeah, I'm gonna put my airlock in. So there we go, we've got a drill operation. Now we can't get it airtight just yet. But now that you've got a drill here, you can come over to your G menu, find your drill, get rid of there. If you just click on that several times and press block tools, double click that, you can use your mouse as you, you would a drill. So now, whilst you're mining, you get in, all your production's a lot easier. Look at that. You're away. So that is literally the start of the space engineers. That's how you're going to survive. Obviously you build your power solar system. Uh, let me build them up. Um, okay, so... Uh, your spaceship would actually be done right now. You'd have doors, you'd have your solar, you get your batteries all charging, you've got your drill and your refinery, so yeah, it's pretty cool. But on my game, I'm an idiot because this mod needs metal grids, so I can't even get to my own spaceship. But there you have it, that is literally how to get started in space on Space Engineers. I mean, could actually cross that over and put another one there but that's a that's another one that's just literally to get you up and running let's just get rid of him we don't really need there we go boom now face your solar solar panels towards the sun like so and there we go we're getting power Look at that I don't even tell you how long you've got because it's infinite sun there you go boom well I hope you found this useful and enjoyed the sort of how to get started. I've been Nico and Sicko guys and yes this is going to be my let's play and I'll see you in episode 2. Catch you guys out later. Peace!